institution of estate surveyors and valuers urges government to establish housing data bank. Lagos State asks property owners to perfect documents. Delta to clamp down on violators of property protection law. Family Homes funds to build 2,000 homes in Adamawa for civil servants. President, House and Development Advocacy Group sets agenda for Fashola's second tenure. Welcome to House and TV. My name is Namsu Thoma. Now the news in detail. The Nigerian Institution of Estate Surveyors and Valuers has urged the federal government to establish a housing data bank to enable the nation plan purposefully and effectively. This was made known by the president of the institution, Roland Abonta, in Port Harcourt at the body's National Council quarterly meeting. He said without the data bank, it would be difficult for government to plan effectively to meet its target. According to him, for government to successfully meet its target of addressing the housing deficit in the country, it should, as a matter of urgency, carry out a survey on the housing needs of Nigerians. The Lagos state government has advised legitimate land and property owners in the state to perfect their legal documents for easy administration of justice. The coordinator of the Lagos State Special Tax Force on Land Grabbers, Owolabi Arole, noted that untidy property documentation made it difficult for property forcefully taken to be retrieved through legal means. Arole stated these while reviewing a report on the activities of the tax force for the first and second quarters of 2019. He noted that the tax force had since inauguration received over 1,300 petitions bordering on land grabbing, adding that the agency concluded 550 cases, made 35 arrests and was still working on 330 petitions. In a bid to pave way for accelerated development, the Delta State Government has resolved to fully implement the Public and Private Properties Protection Law, also known as anti devil Law, that prescribed forceful entry into development sites, illegal collection of development levies and extortion by thugs. The State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Peter Mrapo, stated this on Friday at the meeting with petroleum depot operators in the state at Government House last in office worry. While warning violators to stay clear of any site, Mrapo assured property developers and investors in the state of the full implementation of the law that prohibits forceful entry and collection of development levies by tout, stressing that offenders will be prosecuted. Federal government social housing scheme Family Homes Funds has signed a deal worth up to 8.3 billion naira with the Adamawa state government to provide 2,000 homes for civil servants in the state and other low-income earners. This has been described as a landmark achievement for Family Homes Funds in its mandate of working with state governments to improve the quality of life of the citizens through the provision of affordable housing. Speaking at the signing ceremony, Mr. Femi Adewale, the MD and CEO of Family Homes Funds Limited, says the intervention is in four categories which include provision of financing through its help to own scheme and creation of jobs, skill empowerment and working with the governor on a homeowner education program to ensure that the potential beneficiaries are able to manage their homes in order to have housing estates in Adamawa that are well maintained and sustained for a long time. And finally, the President House and Development Advocacy Network, Mr. Festus Adibayo, has set an agenda for the new administration of Abatunde Fashola, Minister of Works and Housing. Speaking in an interview with Housing TV, he urged the minister to consider the low income earners in executing plans for building of houses. He said houses should be built for those who really need them, the middle and low income earners. He further urged the minister to do more of public private partnership and to have a strong supervisory team. Adebayo also urged the minister to ensure that outstanding bills in the sector are passed into law and to work with stakeholders. Thanks for watching House and TV. Don't forget to tune in to AIT 9 a.m. on Wednesdays and TVC 10.30 a.m. every Saturday for more housing information. Remember to subscribe to House and TV Africa for more news updates on housing. My name is Namsu Thoma.